these kind of two huge team fight ults. The Alliance know what they're kind of setting themselves up for when they go in. They've just got to be very aware that multiple heroes don't get caught out. Go away just again with the Savage Roar, pushing it back and being able to still keep Alliance thinking. It's hard for Alliance to find this jump. It lanes to Mail. Green Mother finished their axe, so they're getting value. And remember, Lotus is not committing his ult yet. He's just spamming Nancy every time. So there's nothing for EG to say, okay, they've used that thing, now we can go. It's, it's a difficult position for EG. I think it's very intelligent of Alliance to, to do the split approach. And now Bulldog's going to start working on, on the top tower, I think. It's going to take a while, but they're not losing anything, Alliance, right now. Yeah. I mean, this is the, yeah, EG, what's the plan? They're going to start making a running on the bottom. They've already managed to get the kill on the IO. Universe with a three man flat hole. Huge flat hole from the man. EG have tried to come in with a save. There's what's going to go down now. Bulldog as well to fall. There'll be a buyback from EG. He came in here to look for a save, but this could be a dieback. Borrow strike from Samael and suddenly EG turning up, and it's Universe with the black hole that does it. He knew that he was waiting for that opportune moment, and he comes in with a big one. And now with Loda looking to be in dire straits as well. This is going to be a team wipe for EG. They hold the base, they bring him down, his Aegis is gone. They'll group up, EG ready for the party. Loda getting absolutely destroyed by the lineup. And suddenly, EG, bam! I wouldn't be surprised if, if the gold graph is like Radiant's starting to go EG's bit. Oh, yeah. oh right, yep, yeah. right, goodbye, goodbye advantage that Alliance had. Straight down the way of EG. I mean, just universe. He is, he's a bit of a cool cat, you can imagine. He was just chill, waiting for the time. Walks in, easy three man back on. He's, he's soaking it all in. Great stuff from universe there. By Ruin managed to catch out RTZ, bringing him back to the port. BK people board up, the static storm is good. Laying down off the free, so Mail gets the first strike of Loader. But now Loader bringing in Artor. Artor's going to go down, and now this is a line fighting back hard. Universe pops the BKB, trying to run, gets healed up by the Mist Coil. Loader continues to try and chase down this man on the Enigma. Will he have to do it? Chase him through the trees. Universe looking for the Jukes. Is he going to make it? No, he won't. Crit to the back. Loader gets himself a double kill. PPD being hunted down by the Bulldog underneath the tower. He's got borrowed time, but there's backup coming in for the side of a line. More people throwing the bodies at. PPD, PPD's going to get body. This time it's EG losing four heroes. And, you know, the near future in this game, that's pretty it for EG. And EG sensing this and actually, well, CK, it, yeah. CK and DP ult are down. This is their window. Look at the graph. Back yes. up to about 8k. Just these one fights, just these huge swings, because I'll get into this beefy point, and yeah, as you said, this is the opportunity. No what's on the two big cores. If you could you plot the, the movement of the teams in this game according to like the defense, D, DP and CK LD, it would be literally like EG making the moves every time there's a down, and then Alliance making the moves when they have. Oh, they're going for the tier 4! EG said, we're done! We wanna, we wanna finish this! And Alliance, they haven't got the ultimate, but again... They have TPs, can they go? Oh no! Can they go for a base break? They're going for Rax, Alliance, they need to go for something bigger because at the same time EG are trying for it here. They do lose fear, but the tier force are down. They just go for an RTZ working away. Universe, oh, with a black hole on Komodo and the GM. There's gonna be more than a fight the MSR score. Pushing back the Lodrid, just get the kill here. Now turns to what PPD is, double kill for Universe. Both the CK and the Iowa down. Buyback for the CK. PPD desperately trying to hit the agent. He's got the borrowed time, but they will take him down. Loaded with a buyback, helping dispatch him. There's been a buyback from Fear, so Mel gets himself out. And so does Universe with the TP away. Oh man, this absolute cutthroat game. EGC an opening, and they go for it. They know without those ults that Alliance are so weak that they could just run past the rats and go for the tier four. It was it was a brilliant plan from EG, and I think it makes sense because they sense that the game is probably going downhill for them, and they nearly won the game just right there. Unfortunately, Alliance are like the absolute experts in this style of play, and I think worked out just on time who needs to go where, what they need to do. And there's an AC on Bulldog now as well. And now, and RTZ doesn't have buyback, right? So this they could go for Megas seconds. right now. This. They might even try and go for I guess they don't have the exorcism, it's just been used. They so do have the CK LT. Actually, yeah, with that, with that and the AC on Bulldog, they could try the tier 4s themselves. Look at this army coming into the loader. Throat to throat. Straight onto the tier 4. S4 kind of getting caught out here on the side, though. He's got the BKB, he's got to try and walk up, he's got the spirit side one with the Octrain heating up. Loader rips him there, rips him to pieces. Earth Spirit's down, the second tier 4's gone, and Elias, they've got the ancient exposed, they're starting to work this. The male now, he's gonna get shredded to slow. He'll buy back straight away. Can they hold this? I don't know if they can. It's the mail. They try to go in before the top of the enemy. Hits the ancient and a lion. Take the game.
Wow. Throw into ah. Dota 2. That's, I mean, like 30 seconds ago, we were watching Alliances throw in Busy dying. And for me, that's incredible. That's like excitement. And it's it's such yeah, a good yeah. game going forward into like the, the playoffs because this is hype right this there. This is. That, that absolutely. I love